APC leaders, APC chieftain, don't go visit Bode George seeking a support for Bola Ahmed Tinubu. But one question you ask yourself is what type of support and why are these people now visiting Bode George after all they are bragging? Bode George is the ex national PDP chairman. But let me clear your doubt because John Gull is now maturing against APC. Yes, at all levels, in all ramifications. Except if the judiciary again want to rob Nigeria of the belief that we have on them. Because the judiciary is the last hope of a common man in Nigeria. And this election petition tribunal is the last hope of Nigerians who came out in mass to vote for P2B on the election day. Now listen, there are speculations that this election may be cancelled. Although it may be very costly for Nigeria as a nation to cancel this election because Nigeria spent close to 600 billion naira on INEC Professor Yakub Mahmoud to conduct free, fair and credible election. But you and I saw that the election was far from free, fair and credibility. One question Nigerians keep asking is, why was it on the election day? Result for presidential election was not transmitted on the same day, but that of National Assembly and House of Rep were transmitted. That of senators was transmitted. Why that of the House of Rep were not transmitted? Nigerians beg answer. And because of the big lies, because of these manipulations and this rigging, Ainek was saying a different thing. Lai Mohammed was saying a different thing on the national television. Now let's go back to why APC are visiting PDP um, elders, PDP ex national chairman. You see, apart from canceling the election, P2B, one of the conditions under which P2B will reclaim his mandate is through lawful votes. When the lawful votes are counted, according to the Bivans, according to the INEC from EC8, and according to voters' register, P2B will reclaim back his mandate. The result they announced in Lagos State was short of what Labour Party used in winning, the margin Labour Party used in winning Lagos State. That of also Benue State as well as River State. When all these results are collated, P2B's total vote will skyrocket. And when this happens, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the APC, will be left at nothing. And mind you, when Labour Party P2B is also collecting his legal vote and collecting the stolen vote from APC, PDP will also be collecting back their stolen vote. So when PDP has also collected back their stolen vote from APC, APC will be left at nothing. Because PDP is also charging them for stolen votes, for stealing their vote as well. So you see that when you try to maneuver, when you try to cheat everybody, when you try to rob people of their, you know, of their sweat, a day will come when the whole world will be against you. And that is what is coming currently at the tribunal for APC. So visiting Bode George is to see whether PDP will compromise on this case and withdraw their case so that APC will retain the vote they have stolen from PDP. And they will know that they are contending with Labour Party. So because the moment APC, uh, PDP and Labour Party has collected back all the votes stolen from them by APC, it is over. It is finished for, for, for APC. So this is one of the reasons, one of, one of the speculations why APC have visited Bode George. But God's willing, the tribunal through Justice Haruna will give just judgment to this case so that Nigerians will have a fresh air with P2B. Watch the rest of the news and God bless you. And the first interview I've got, who wants to listen to, 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 to uh, Arise Television? Now you have seen that parties have exchanged briefs in the tribunal. And that's why I said, look, there is not much of this. I got an interview, both in written form and to everybody, print and electronic. And I've made it very clear that I've seen in shock about the behavior. What we saw, that the conduct of political class have not complemented the reform that we have made this year. And it's a tragedy that politicians conducted the affairs in the most shameful manner. On the election day, one of our own, a Queen's Cancer, a professor who had very pressing, pressing matters outside Nigeria, but he placed Nigeria interest above every other. He flew down to the country, to Delta State, to go and vote. What he observed was a crime scene. He called me.